The need for acceptance is a basic human need that we all share. Who does not want to feel like he fits in and that they belong? And in order to achieve that, we tweak our personalities and present ourselves in different ways according to the environment we're in and according to the people that we are set with. From the fear of alienation, from the fear of estrangement, from the fear of being given the title of gharib, you're a stranger, you're weird. And therefore we have different additions, different versions that we give off of our personalities because no one wants to be the black sheep that doesn't match the herd. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Islam began as something strange and it shall return as being something strange. So good news to the strangers. And the bite of being a stranger is of two categories. The first category is the stranger of a Muslim in the middle of people who are not. This is a form of ghurba, one that Allah has asserted in the Quran time and time again, that you, O oh Muslims, will be usually a minority amidst a non-Muslim majority. Allah Jalla Jalaluhu said, we've come to you with the truth, but most of you despise the truth. Allah Jalla Jalaluhu said, except those who believe and they do good deeds and they are few in number. Allah said, most of humanity accept nothing but disbelief. Allah said, few of my servants are those who are grateful. Every time the Quran speaks of a majority, it dispraises it. Every time the Quran speaks of a minority, it praises it. This is category number one, the strangeness of the Muslim amidst the non-Muslims. Category number two, it is the alienation of the committed Muslim amidst the non-committed Muslims. They are also strangers and they feel the bite of alienation. And what hurts about this category is that the ones who cause this pain are the Muslims themselves on one another. Many times when an imam or a scholar or a student of knowledge or an activist speaks about the prohibition of buying and selling drugs or alcohol or using interest or serving shisha in your store or something to that effect, in many instances, those who protest and object are the Muslims themselves. So this brings about a type of ghurba in the heart of the Muslim. When he sees his family, he sees his brethren speaking against him, whilst all he or she are trying to do is be a Muslim upon the prophetic path. They feel strange when they look around and they see their fellow Muslim brothers and sisters with their greatest aspirations in life to receive the reassuring nod of acknowledgement from society, from parliament, from friends, from social constructs. They feel strange because all they want is the acknowledgement of the king, Allah, the sovereign, and the prophetic nod of acknowledgement on the day of judgment. They will be labeled as strangers along the way. I conclude with some descriptions given by the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to see if you fit the description or not. Because feeling alienated and estranged is not enough as an indicator. There are signs. Hadith number one. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was asked, who are the strangers? He said, they are the ones who stay righteous when people become corrupt. These are the strangers. Hadith number two, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was asked, who are the strangers? He said, the strangers are those who rectify the sunnah that people have corrupted after my death. Hadith number three, who are the strangers, O Messenger of Allah? And he said, they are righteous people. Amidst many evil people, and those who reject them are more than those who accept them. So they are righteous people. Number two, they call to righteousness. Number three, 
they are rejected by most people. These are the strangers and so good news to them. Good news to our sister who walks the earth with her hijab in dignity, who breathes life into values that are dying today like chastity and purity. Good news to her and congratulations for being a stranger though in the eyes of Allah she is no stranger. And congratulations to our Muslim brother who does not compromise on his salah who has not disintegrated as a weak identity Muslim, who lowers his gaze and protects his private parts from haram and only eats from halal sources of income and befriends the finest of people. Congratulations for being a stranger. Though in the eyes of Allah, you are no stranger. And congratulations to those who have only one version of themselves to present to the world practicing Muslim of an unapologetic identity never sandpapering parts of your religion to be part of a herd congratulations the Prophet ﷺ, he said after you there will be days of patience where patience will be like holding to glowing embers burning coals holding on to the deen will be like holding to a burning coal. How long can you hold on to the burning coal? Days will come when holding on to the deen will be like holding on it without letting go. Whoever is able to do this will have the reward of 50 people that do like him. The Sahaba asked, Oh Messenger of Allah, the reward of 50 of them or 50 of us? He replied, the reward of 50 of you.